Waking up early sounds great in theory. More time, less stress, and a head start on your goals. But if you're like most people, mornings feel like a war zone between your alarm and your willpower. So why is it so hard to get out of bed? How can we fix it for good? The truth is, waking up early isn't just about willpower. It's about biology, environment, and habits. And today, I'll break down the science-backed steps to help you become an early riser without relying on endless motivation. 1. Anchor your sleep schedule. Let's start with your body's internal clock, your circadian rhythm. It's the natural 24-hour cycle that controls your sleep and energy. To reset it, go to bed and wake up at the same time every day, even weekends. Research from the Sleep Foundation shows that consistency in your sleep-wake times improves sleep quality, energy, and focus. Most adults need at least 7 hours of sleep, so reverse engineer your bedtime from when you want to wake up. 2. Wind down like a pro. You can't expect to fall asleep instantly after scrolling TikTok in bed. Your brain needs a signal that it's time to shut down. Create a calming bedtime routine. Dim the lights, put away screens 30 minutes before sleep, and do something relaxing like journaling, reading, or listening to mellow music. Skip caffeine and alcohol near bedtime. They mess with your REM cycles more than you think. 3. Master your sleep environment. Think of your bedroom as a sleep sanctuary. It should be cool, quiet, and dark. Use blackout curtains or an eye mask to block out light. White noise or earplugs can drown out distractions. According to sleep scientists, even small amounts of light or noise can disrupt your melatonin production, the hormone that tells your body it's time to sleep. 4. Shift. Gradually, not drastically. Here's where most people mess up. They try to wake up two hours earlier overnight. That's a recipe for failure. Instead, shift your wake-up time by just 15 minutes every few days. Let your body adapt slowly. Your circadian rhythm will adjust without the crash, and your willpower will thank you. 5. Let the light. In when you wake up, don't hide under the covers. Seek out light. Natural sunlight shuts off melatonin production and signals to your brain that it's go time. Open your curtains or step outside for 5 to 10 minutes. And if you live somewhere with long, dark mornings, consider using a light box or sunrise alarm clock to simulate daylight. It works wonders for resetting your internal clock. 6. Make mornings rewarding. Here's a secret. Your brain doesn't care about early mornings. It cares about rewards. So create a reason to get up. Plan something you actually look forward to. A workout, a good book, a quiet cup of coffee, or journaling. Make mornings a time for you, not just your to-do list. Step 7. Beat the snooze button. Snoozing feels great in the moment, but it leaves you groggy. That's because hitting snooze restarts a sleep cycle you won't finish. Try this. Place your alarm across the room, so you have to stand up to turn it off. Even better, pair it with the 10-second rule. If you know getting up is the right thing to do, count to 10, and do it before your brain talks you out of it. So, waking up early isn't about being superhuman. It's about consistency, environment, and a few powerful habits. Start small, stick with it, and in a few weeks you'll stop saying I'm not a morning person. Because you'll become one. Let me know in the comments, what's one habit you'll change tonight to wake up earlier tomorrow? And if this helped, hit like and subscribe for more science-backed productivity strategies.